In the example of Star Oil Company, the NPV for each investment is already given. Now this video is intended to give you a review on how to compute the net present value or NPV if it's not given. The concept of time value of money says that if we have one dollar now, it is equal to one plus r to the power of k, k years from now, with r is the annual interest rate. This means that if you have one dollar k years from now, it is equal to 1 plus r to the minus k now. So this is the present value of this $1 that you will receive in the future or k years from now. Let's take a look at some examples. If you have $24 one year from now, it is equal to $24,000 over 1 plus 0.20 assuming that the annual interest rate is 0.2 or 20%. If you have $14,000 two years from now, it is equal to 14,000 divided by 1 plus 0.2 to the power of 2, because we're talking about this value is two years from now, so the power here becomes to the power of 2. And then again, this uh, 0.20, means that it is assumed that the annual interest rate is 20% per year. So now we may use that formula to compute the NPV of these two investments in this problem. For investment one, you need to pay $10,000 at time zero. And then you need to pay again $14,000 two years from now. This investment gives you a cash flow of $24,000. So you receive $24,000 one year from now. Investment two requires $6,000 cash outlay at time zero and $1,000 cash outlay two years from now. And it gives you $8,000 one year from now. Which investment would you prefer? Assuming that the annual interest rate is 20% or 0.2. Using the NPV formula, you may compute that the value at time zero remains the same. We do nothing. And then this $24,000 from um, one year from now, we divided it with 1 plus 0 0.20. And then $14,000 two years from now, we divide it with 1 plus 0 0.20 to the power of 2. We do the same thing, and then we see that for this value of R and this um, cash inflow and outflow in this ex example, investment one is more profitable in terms of the NPV. Now let me ask you a question. For the same problem, if we assume another value of R, which is not 0.2 like you've seen before, investment two may have larger NPV than investment one. Is this statement true or false? I will give you the answer after the pause of the video. The answer is yes, it's true. Different value of R may cause investment two to have larger NPV than investment one. For example, if you plug in R equals 0 0.02, you may get the result that the NPV for investment two is larger than for investment one. So that's the end of this section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.